Thank you all for attending the groundbreaking ceremony of Fire Station Number Two. Thank you all for coming out here today. Here is an end to a long journey of planning and a beginning. Here has begun and will be complete by December and January the construction of a facility that will give us reduced response times for both EMT and fire calls. Save, save the community on insurance and exp uh, expenses. Be a polling place and a community meeting spot and be a valuable training resource. Thank you, Chief Draper, for leading the effort to bring this project in. And thank you, members of the City Council here tonight for supporting this necessary project. And thank you, Red Wing taxpayers, who, by paying for this asset, will make Red Wing a safer city. Thank you so much. Everybody. A few council members would like to speak tonight, so I'll first introduce Dean Ho, say a few words. The truth is, I'm only going to say a few words. <laughs> Uh, this groundbreaking is the result of years of a partnership between the, the neighbors and City Hall. The rapid response we, can soon we soon will achieve will save lives. Timely access to emergency services should not be determined by where people live. The greatest service of government is saving lives. Thank you. Thank you. Councilmember Evan Brown would like to say a few words. Well, I think everyone said everything, um, but the important thing here is uh, I want to thank the department for all its hard work over so many years. Certainly Dean knows the uh, long time it was spent getting to this point, so I really want to thank you uh, for persevering and seeing the need so clearly. Also I'd like to say this building will represent the biggest new public building in the city. And uh, as we go through our 2040 comprehensive planning process, a big part of that process is considering sustainability. So I always hope that you will think about this building, think about this not just as a fire station, but a kind of a public building, and that this public building needs to kind of uh, mimic or uh, show the leadership we want to take in sustainability moving forward. So thank you to the uh, department and all the hard work you do and um, I'm glad to see this finally moving forward. Great. And then finally uh, I want to introduce to you our chief, Shannon Draper. Thank you, Mayor. And thank you for coming out and joining us on this, uh, this great occasion tonight. This is truly a wonderful project that we see coming together here. I do want to thank a few people, um, kind of a repeat of what the council and the mayor has already said. Um, but first, our mayor and our city council, who's with uh, their support and their guidance, have helped us bring this project together. Our city administrator and other city departments that really have put all of this together, uh, working together and you know, public works and all of the departments um, putting this project uh, and all the parts uh, together. And then finally, Councilman Dean Ho, who has been working on this project and championing it from day one. I could say that truly without uh, the commitment from all those people, especially our Councilman Dean Ho, we might not be here today. And so I do want to thank him uh, for his guidance and support of the department and this project. And finally, our community. We are a community-focused organization, meaning we are constantly serving and focused on the needs of our community. And it is your support and, again, the guidance that has helped us um, evolve this project and design this project um, within a budget and the needs that the community needs. And so thank you. Someone the other day asked me, what does it matter 10 minutes? A firefighter arriving on scene 10 minutes sooner. That's not much time. That's true. 10, mo 10 minutes may not seem like a lot, but it is a lot. It is the difference between making an interior fire attack and fighting a fire from the outside. That is saving a home or not. And for a medical emergency, I can explain it even easier. It is a difference between life and death. 
And so this station is needed. Uh, the location uh, was picked through the study and again with the work of the council, city administration, and myself. And then finally, um, it is more than just a fire station. With its community room, it can be a voting place, a meeting hall for community organizations. The police have a office here at this building, giving them a area on this end of town to do reports and conduct police business. And then with the fire training center or the training tower, we're able to conduct training um, that is needed and required. Police are able to do training. And so it's much more than just a fire station. This is truly a community building, as was mentioned, and also an asset for Burnside and all of Redway. And so again, I wanna thank the community and our council for everything that's, ha that's come together, that's brought us to this point. Um, this next year is extremely busy, and I look forward to having you all back in January when we open the doors for that ceremony. Thank you. Thank you.